up you guys it's Valley Bond and Perfume Don back at you with a very very short quick video I wanted to compare two fragrances for you I've been doing a very long wear test to see which one is actually longer lasting if it's worth having both and just pretty much my thoughts about them I'm not going to really go in depth with the notes I think that the first one you've actually have smelled so the first one we're going to talk about is the OG Chloe Nomad if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I absolutely love this scent. Um, I think that it's a beautiful, what I call a classy hippie scent. It's got some Mirabelle in there. So it's kind of got some citrus, but it's definitely got that gritty oak moss in there that we really like. I think it has patchouli as well. Mm, it's just such a nice complex scent. I think it's perfect for fall. Um, it's a very strong, robust kind of a scent. It's just got that earthy dirtiness to go with some femininity, which is super unique. I always call it very much so a grown woman kind of a scent, but if you wanna know more about this specific fragrance, I have an entire review on my channel, which I'll list right here. What I wanna do for you is to compare it to the Absolute version that came out. This is Nomad Absolute de Parfum. I picked up this one, um, definitely didn't need it, but I picked it up because I wanted to see, is it like, more intensified, is it gonna last longer? What is the judge? So this is the kind of box it comes in. I think the only difference is that that lining around is gonna be a deeper blush pink, whereas the OG is just the same blush pink all um, over the box. So I think that's the main difference with the packaging, if that matters to you. Now with the actual bottle, you can tell them apart. One of the things I always like to be able to easy, easily tell my fragrances apart, you can tell it apart by the darker um, suede strap around the, <clears throat> excuse me, early morning on the way to work. You can tell them apart by the um, darker like little suede strap and it also has some studs. So that makes it pretty much easily identifiable. And of course it has the lettering that says Absolute de Parfum on the bottle. Now onto the actual juice. I did so many different wear tests just to figure out which one and how are they really different. The main thing that I get noticed, this is stronger. If you think this one's like a dirty, grounded, earthy kind of a scent, almost this leans to like pine to me for some reason. This one is that turned up. That's really what they amplified in the absolute version. I get even more oak moss. I mean, that's the thing that really stands out is super, earthy dirty oak moss in the absolute version it's super strong this one already lasts all day but i feel like this one lasts until next day like i mean this is a really really strong scent so if you're looking for a fragrance that lasts to no end i mean this is absolutely it and i would expect nothing different because the og already have really great lasting power um i think that is the scent that has like a lot of projection as well i would not say Actually, either one of these are office appropriate, but definitely not the absolute version, not office appropriate. It's very strong. It is very, um, just very pungent, with, but you know, without the negative connotation, it's a very strong scent. Um, I think that it almost leans masculine, but of course, or oak moss is typically a more masculine kind of a note. But yeah, this is definitely a more masculine take. Did I say I wish they would have balanced it out or I would love to see a flanker that has some lavender. I feel like the lavender would balance out the oak moss quite well, but that's just my um, little side note. But does it last much longer? Yes, it does. But this is already a very long lasting, nice performing fragrance. So you don't really need that unless you're looking for a scent that's like a little bit more earthy, dried greens kind of a fragrance than I wouldn't say that you need the absolute version, but um, I think the OG, I would just stick with OG if you're thinking about getting one. Or if you're wanting to get a compliment scent, if you're a woman, you wanna give one for your guy, you know, unless he's afraid of the packaging, this is a quite masculine fragrance. Uh, but that's my two scent. What do you guys think? Have you tried both? Which one would you suggest? Do you think it's worth it to have both of them? Let me know, comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.